It is time for some more Minecraft bingo. I'm on my own looking at seed 8815 for bingo, five in a row. And I think on this card, either the first row seems to be definitely the most reliable choice. First column, if you want to gamble and go for the diamond, is also not completely unreasonable. The fourth column with the fish and the apple uh, seems like it's going to be too slow, I think. So basically, we need to find a desert and a spruce tree on the surface. And then otherwise, we're in good shape. There's plenty of spruce in the direction of the ice biome. I do not see deserts in any direction. There's some horses dying right there, as they are wont to do. But it's a boats, boats, boats week, and so we could just take a boat past the ice biome and try to find the desert there after we get our spruce sapling. So we need to make sure that we get our spruce sapling. So I guess that will be uh, priority number one. And then... Uh, priority number two will be to hop in a boat and go sailing. And if we see some stone near the spruce saplings, we could go ahead. I guess there's a spruce right here. Uh, we could go ahead and try to get our tools going. Um, yeah, I'm trying on my peripheral <laughs> vision to see if I spot any good places to grab stone. But I'm not sure that I have yet. And let's see, tools-wise... Hmm. Yeah, don't need anything out of the ordinary. And if we dig straight down to get the iron and golden redstone, which is not completely unreasonable. Um, yeah. Hmm. I'm looking for stone while I'm going to wait for that tree to decay. I don't think I see any stone on the side of the mountain. Here's some. All right, so we'll go back for the sapling in a minute. And the coal I will want to help ensure that I can make things and that I might as well kill a couple of cows since they are right here, just as a hedge. Um, and if there is, let's see, um, I think I'm not going to worry about other tools because I'm planning to dig, or the furnace because I'm planning to dig down. And I think three pieces of coal will be sufficient for what I need. Yeah, and I don't see anything great right there anyway. Okay, so we'll kill a couple cows. We'll get our sapling. We'll hop in the boat. We'll go find a desert. Uh, and then we'll dig straight down. That is the plan on this card. All right. Show me a sapling. I see it. Great. Boat. Show me a desert. I don't immediately see it, but let's imagine that it's coming up. So, if I were a desert... Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Looks like there's going to be desert over here. So we'll grab our cactus and then spend like 10 seconds trying to see if we can find a cave entrance. But if not, we're going to dig straight down. Is that a fossil right there? Didn't get a good look. If I remember at the end of the run, I may go into spectator mode and just try to take a quick look at that to see if that was a fossil, since they are a rarity. I'm not gonna need the boat anymore, so we're just gonna leave it behind. Looks like there might be a cave next to this place. Yeah. All right, so that's good. We'll try to go down in that direction. Um, but first, I wanna grab this. Great, got my cacti. Cactus. Cactorum. Cacti, cacti, cacti. Um, dungeon chest. Uh, not really helping. There is another dungeon chest there. I don't remember what was on the card. I guess that could have helped. Uh, and I'm going to have to fight the stupid baby zombie anyway. What are the chances that the other chance... Sorry, that the other chest had gold in it? I don't think it's necessarily that likely. How much iron do I need? 7 and 4 are 11... Uh, plus, I need to make an iron pickaxe to gather the gold. So that is 14 total iron that I'm going to need. And so I think I'm up to four right now. And I am going to need to smelt. So yeah, let's go ahead um, and get my furnace going. So I can make my iron pickaxe. Okay. Like so. 
And I hear the baby zombie, but it doesn't seem like he is near me right now. That was 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think I still need one more iron after this. And I can afford to throw this in here for now. And while that's smelting to get me an iron pickaxe, I'm going to try to get another furnace so that I can cook up the cactus. I'm not going to worry about food because food is for the weak. Cactus is going in there. I have a piece of food already. Now I can make my iron pickaxe. Uh, what level have I gotten down to already? How close to gold and redstone are we? 48 is not very deep. Doesn't look like this is immediately going back downwards. So I'm going to choose simply to dig. And that's good enough. All right, so let's dig. And hope that we get lucky. Um, because I like to gamble on bingo seeds. So if we happen to dig through two pieces of gold, I do need one more piece of iron. Thank you very much. Oh, hello. Uh, blow up. Thank you. Um, I need gold and redstone. There could be redstone in here. Um, yeah, there's three zombies there, so there could be redstone there. Uh, spider is easier to deal with. And there could be gold in here, too. Um, golden apple could also be useful to me, so I will grab it. Um, and there's some iron cooked up already. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to get the rest of the iron cooking. So we can make those things. I'm going to grab the golden apples on the bar. And then run back and see if the other chest... Uh, has what I need. Do I need to kill these guys? I do still need to kill them. However, since I have an enchanted golden apple, I can do it like this. Uh, and I'm immune to the fire. And then this will kill off the zombies more quickly. Uh, and then I can run in here and see if our gold or redstone is here. Um, sadly, it is not. But we took a shot. I like doing weird gambles. And so that was fun. What level am I currently at? 28, so I still need to go down lower. At this point, I should have enough iron to make everything I need to make out of iron. Um, but we still need to go down deeper to get the redstone. Um, and the gold, we just want to search through caves, wherever we can see open cave systems. Uh, that's going to be going up too high for the gold, potentially. So let's try back in this direction which I guess is where I came in. Kind of already lost track. We still have some extra hearts from the... Who's it? Um, skeleton dungeon, are you worth it? Probably not. Uh, but we'll do that. Uh, iron doesn't help me, that doesn't help me. Okay, so let's just run. We got two golden apples, so I'm not too worried about the skeletons. Uh, you need to explode. And then we're gonna dig down again and hope the skeletons don't follow us down here. Let's eat another golden apple. I should still be fire resistant, so I don't need to worry about falling into lava. And we are down at the redstone layer. And so now I just need to find some redstone and some gold. And yeah, I don't need to worry about this. Can I swim through it? Yes, but it's not showing me anything good. Um, I think fire resistance lasts for like five minutes or something with the enchanted golden apple. So I'm not worried about being on fire right now. Uh, but I am worried about the fact that I need to place a block <laughs> under me so I can, uh... Really? Can I not place that block? Uh, I guess not. Oh, there we go. Alright, I'll be on fire for a little bit, but um, let's imagine that that is going to run out before it's a problem. The fire, not the uh, fire resistance, hopefully. All right, so I didn't play that that well, and this hasn't lucked out in terms of digging into the gold or the redstone. So it's unlikely to be a super great time, but hopefully it was an entertaining video to watch thus far, and hopefully I will still be able to complete this strategy. If I do find water, I will hop into it in order to put the fire out, so I don't have to worry about the fire resistance wearing off. Actually, I've changed my strategy because the fire wore off. But sadly, okay, here's the redstone. And that having been done, let's go ahead and make this and this. 
and update the card just to make sure I'm not forgetting things. Yes, now I just need the gold, and I do still have the furnaces. And I hear a spider. And I also hear... Uh, yeah, lava cave. Okay, let's go up one higher because I'm not sure how much fire resistance I have left. Um, and try to find gold in this cave. Great. Let's go ahead and eat another one of these. Uh, gold, gold, gold. Got some bad guys over there. Don't really care. Not looking for bad guys. Just looking for the gold. There's gold in them there hills, I heard someone once say. Were these the hills they were referring to? Probably not. Um, but there's the gold. We knew it'd show up. Alright, so two pieces of gold. I have two furnaces. Um, I need to set this down. One, two. One piece of gold in there. One piece of gold in here. I already have everything I need to craft. I just need to make a gold sword. We will get this in about 10.30, which is a reasonable time. I think it's better than the times that I have seen posted on this card. So hopefully that was entertaining. I will remember to go back into game mode 3 so that we can check and see if I saw a fossil right over here, because I was curious about it. Yes, I did. So there was a fossil underwater right here. That's what a fossil looks like, made of bone and coal. And yeah, I'm not unhappy with how that one went. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. Got my sniper bingo five in a row. I hope as always that you guys are having a great day and I will see you again soon with more Minecraft bingo. Bye-bye.